virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai education department i am mrs sakshata kale and today we will learn evs come on students let us begin our lesson subject is environmental studies part 1 of standard 4 and name of the lesson is lesson number 21 management of community life yes dear children here the meaning community means a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristics in common is called community okay how to do the management of community life we will go through see this picture here shraddha ahesha and imli's parents are decided to take a trip in the summer vacation they book a special mini bus for the trip in the morning everyone got ready they waited for the bus for a long time but it did not arrive when they made enquiries on the phone they realized that the driver of the bus did not know where exactly they were all waiting finally the bus arrived and they set off on their trip Yes, dear children, come on, tell me what caused the confusion in the trip, and what would you suggest to avoid this kind of confusion? Can you tell me? Yes, to do any kind of work smoothly, some management is required, isn't it? okay we will understand the meaning of management here what is management yes dear children first we will go through the statement of management and then we will take one example and we will try to understand the meaning of management okay see what is management the first step in management is to prepare an outline of how and when the work is to be done okay try to understand the sentences what is the first step to prepare an outline of how and when the work is to be done okay when work is allotted or when work is fixed okay first thing is to prepare an outline somehow gross idea we have to take about that work okay when to do when to submit like that hmm next is if we are going to be working in a group the outline must be clearer and more detailed yes dear children you know that in a group means some people they participate in that work or some students they participate in that work so the outline must be clearer and more detailed it should be understood by each and every participant of that group next is one has to decide what task each person will carry out if it is in the group then each person should know his her or her work okay each person must know clearly how to carry it out yes if one task is given to that person or if some responsibility is given to that person that person must know that clearly okay next is proper coordination has to be maintained among the people involved yes there should be proper coordination where to meet when to meet what to do what is the next step like this 
each and every child should know or each and every person should know the next step and there should be the coordination among these group members we also need to make sure that each person is doing his or her work properly some assigned work to each person you know correct then each person should do their work properly whatever assigned work is there that they have to perform properly next is an estimate of the amount of money needed for the work needs to be made in advance yes here how much money will be required to do this work that you have to estimate in advance then only we can make that uh, work properly correct if all the things are done properly the work gets completed smoothly if everything goes smoothly the work also gets completed smoothly right even if one person makes a mistake or slacks off on the job the work does not get completed properly just now we have gone through in that trip the driver wasn't knew the destination where these people were waiting right that make confusion between the driver and these group of people right so here in this project or in this um, management every person should know their duties should perform their duties well then only that group will get the success or that group can complete their work smoothly right same thing we will apply to our school okay and we will try to understand the meaning of management by using this example okay see here teacher has given a group project okay yes she gave a group project of english she told the children to make a group project what is the subject that is english means you can write any poems you can write riddles you can write small stories you can write the picture reading comprehensions etc yes she made one group of seven students can you see here seven students 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes teacher told that you are in one group you have to make a english project okay now we will go through the meaning of management how these students in one group how they work and how they get the success in that work we will go through see what is management correct here we will go through each step what is that the first step in management is to prepare an outline of how and when the work is to be done yes here in this group what is the outline here yes making an english project is their work okay now submission is on 30th of that month okay time is given and group of seven students in that project work seven students are there in that group okay this is about the gross image of this project now second what to do if we are going to be working in a group the outline must be clearer and more detailed yes this is a group project we know correct this is a english group project seven students are there in that group right now here what they decided they decided the timings first that is from 5 to 6 pm every day they will meet at in the school hall where they will meet they will meet in the school hall they fix their 
how they are trying to do their work complete one has to decide what task each person will carry out this is the third step in the management yes this is a this is a group of seven students they decided to become one as the editor the main person okay group leader and these two they are sub editors sub editor means they will look after each and everything then these two are artists because their drawing is nice they will draw the diagram in the project and these two they will write whatever to write on the project they will write because they are having nice handwriting got this children like this they decided to work in one group okay he is the leader of this group and these two are sub editors they both of them will help this leader and these two they uh, they will draw for the project and they these two they will write for for the project okay like this they decided here they divided the project among themselves they divided the work among themselves correct now fourth step is what is the first fourth step each person must know clearly how to carry it out yes they decided and they know now what to do what is their part in the project proper coordination has to be maintained among the people involved yes these seven children they know their work and they start coordinating with each other they collected the pictures and they collected the materials okay and the monitor he gone through each and every material they went out they brought some chart papers gum scissors and color papers etc whatever is needed for the project correct they decided and they started to do the project and these two students they started to draw for the project and these two students they started to write for the project next is we also need to make sure that each person is doing his or her work properly here this monitor okay he became a supervisor and he observed each and every one's work properly an estimate of the amount of money needed for the work needs to be made in advance yes they decided what will be the estimate amount what is the needed amount for this project to buy whatever see here chart papers glue colors cello tape scissors color papers etc they wanted all these materials for their project so in advance they decided what amount will be required to purchase all these materials if all these things are done properly the work gets completed smoothly yes here also what they did they decided each and everything properly they gone through each step of management properly and they succeeded in making their work complete see their project is complete and very nice they prepared the english project right they made the letter writing english letter writing they uh, collected some jokes they prepared some poems they written some stories they added some pictures they drawn some things correct like that they become very good in their project they got the success teacher said well done children your project is very nice you will get full marks in this project so dear children because of this management they all got the success in their work isn't it 
Yes, dear children, try to follow this management. Okay. Now here, some management is required even when guests are invited home for the lunch. Yes. Here, mummy thinks about what dishes will we make for lunch. What ingredients are needed to make them? Do we have all those ingredients at home? Or will they have to be bought from the market? Right? She thinks about all this. Then dad thinks about how will we receive the guests? Like this. Correct? Parents decide many such details in advance and act on them. If Everything is decided properly and carried out as planned. The party will also be a success. If something is left out or if a task is not done, it can spoil the party. Isn't it? Yeah? Okay. If management is necessary even for small functions such as these, how important it must be. Correct? In running a school, you know that there are so many children, so many teachers and other staff in school. The management should be proper. Correct? Then only we can run the school smoothly. About a town, you know that in a town, there will be so many people, different types of people, correct? And how to run the town smoothly? There must be a proper management. The same thing refers to the district and to the state and to the country. Isn't it? Yes, India is our country. It has so many states, so many districts, so many towns. Isn't it? How to handle, how to manage this whole country? It is very difficult without proper management. Right? So, government uses some rules and regulations to manage the discipline of the country. Right? Yes. Now, here, do you know this? If you manage your studies properly, you learn better. How can you do this? I will tell you some points here. So, if you follow these points, then you can make your studies properly. You will manage them and you learn better. Okay? We will go through some points. Try to follow these points without any adjustments. See first, fix a time for studying every day and follow it strictly. If you fix some time from 4 to 6, I will study. Then you have to study at that time properly without changing that time. Okay, second. Make a list of things to be studied every week. You make a timetable of a week. Okay? What to study and on which day, which subject I will take. That you have to decide in advance. Next is study the items in your plan. You go according to your plan. Don't change the plan. Make enough time to study each subject. Okay? Whichever subject is difficult that you study first and which you feel it is easy that you keep afterwards. And try to give enough time to each subject. If you have free time, put it to good use by study. You can, uh, you can read the stories and all that. You can go through some uh, magazines if you have free time. Fix a particular time for playing, watching TV and resting. 
However, remember to spend only that much time for those activities. Otherwise, what you will do? You will sit, you will watch TV for more than the fixed time. Or you will play more than the time you fix for playing. That you don't do. Please, if you do like that, then you will not get sufficient time for your studies and for your rest. Got this, children? Yes, this is up to you. You have to prepare your own timetable. Then only you can manage your studies properly. Okay? Now, see here. What tasks are necessary for the management of your classroom? Now, we will move to our classroom. That is your second house. Isn't it? Teacher is your second mother. Isn't it? Like that. Okay. How will you choose your representatives to carry out those tasks? Your representatives means your monitors, class monitors. How you will select them? Right? Now, has the classroom been cleaned properly? Is there chalk and a duster in the classroom? Can you see the chalk and duster? Is the board clean? Checking these things regularly and writing good thoughts on the board and maintaining discipline in the classroom is the responsibility of class representatives. Isn't it? They have some responsibilities about the class to keep the classroom clean, to mind the class, right? To maintain the discipline of the class, to keep the classroom clean and the class board also clean, right? Similarly, to make sure that the school is run smoothly, a school management committee is formed. You have heard about this, isn't it? School management committee, correct? School management committee, okay? School management committee consists of parents, teachers, local experts and student representatives. Got this? The committee tries to understand the difficulties of parents, students and teachers. Yes, these are all the duties of the uh, school management committee. And it gives guidance so as to solve these difficulties. It prepares and recommends a school development plan. It keeps an eye on the regular attendance of students and teachers in the school. It helps in carrying out schemes such as the midday meal. In this way, teachers and parents work together through the school management committee to ensure the all-round development of the students. For these children? Okay. Now see this. This is your school. Right? Why does the school always begin at a fixed time? Why is a timetable of all the subjects made? See this is a science class. Correct? We have proper time for proper subjects. Isn't it? We have proper timetable according to the time we follow, right? Pro the teacher comes to our class at uh, her period or his period and she teaches that subject and she leaves after her time or after her period, isn't it? Why this is so? Yes, what happens if there will not be a timetable? Yes, what will happen? Students would come to school and go home whenever they wish. We would not know when to study. If there were no timetable, students would bring the textbooks and notebooks of all different subjects to school. It will become very difficult to manage the school, isn't it? So, in the school, there is proper time for each subject and there is coming and going times fixed right 
and study time, play time, exercise time, everything will be fixed in the school. That is nothing but the management of the school. Okay. Now, see these children. This is road and the cars are moving here and there. Right? See this. Why do vehicles only run on the left hand side of the road? Can you see here? Two ways are there. This side they are moving in one direction and this side they are coming in one direction. Why this is so? Because there are some rules, isn't it? Rules guide us about how to behave in society. Because of rules, we can be sure that everyone will behave in a particular manner. Right? Because we know that everyone will drive their car on the left hand side. We can also drive our car in the same way safely. If we did not know whether the vehicle coming towards us would come from the left or right, we would also get confused and there may be the chances of accidents. Isn't it? Rules are made so that community life can go in a smooth and orderly manner. Earlier, rules are made so that community life can go in a smooth and orderly manner. Earlier, customs and traditions form the basis of rules. Now, it is the government that makes the rules. After independence, a constitution was framed for our country. See, this is a constitution of India. The constitution provides the fundamental framework for governing the country. It lays down the principles on which a society is organized and developed. The elected representatives run the country according to the constitution. Got this? All the rules and regulations are written in this constitution and it leads us means the people of India ok the local administration is run by the local government bodies yes dear children we live in Mumbai isn't it now municipal corporation of greater Mumbai is our local body the short form is MCGM, Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. Okay, this is our local administration or local body. See the symbol of Brahan Mumbai Municipal Corporation. Okay, yes. Now, here you can see the garden. This is run by Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. Now we know that Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai is our local body. Yes, it gives us so many services like health service. See here, MCGM runs so many hospitals in Mumbai. They are free to their patients. Education. They, we can see so many municipal schools of different mediums like Hindi, Marathi, English, Urdu, Kannada, Gujarati, Tamil. So many schools we can see in Mumbai run by Education Department of Municipal Corporation. Yes, the roads and flyovers are made by local governing body that is MCGM in Mumbai. See, parks and gardens. 
so beautiful parks are available for the people so many gardens also are there for the people and for the children see this is jiza mata udyan in baikhala yes dear children fulfilling these needs is the responsibility of the local government body people elect their representatives to the local government body to attend to these needs right they are called corporators yes we will summarize what we have learned first management is necessary for any work to be done properly a detailed plan is necessary for group work right if work is carried out according to the plan it is done smoothly and on time the school management committee works to ensure the all round development of children the local government body provides facilities for the daily needs of people as yes, dear children we will move to the exercise part of this lesson here fill in the blanks first one dash is necessary to do work yes a dash is necessary to do any work what is necessary you know now yes very good management is necessary to do any work okay if you plan the work properly according to the management steps we are sure that we will get the success next second dash must be maintained among the people involved yes if you are doing any group work then what must be there coordination very good coordination must be maintained among the people involved if coordination will not be there then you will not the you will not get proper success in that work third people elect their dash to the local government body people elect their representatives how you elect representatives to the class like that people elect their representatives to the local government body okay thank you dear children yes here one activity you have to do you have to prepare a time table for your daily studies and play okay and make a note of whether you follow the time table and how it helps okay dear chela bye bye thank you very much for being a part of this lesson please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get new updated videos